The Duchess of Sussex has teased a first look at her new business venture on social media, sharing images of a jar of strawberry jam. Well, joining us is royal commentator Cara Kennedy. Cara, thank you for joining us on, on Power Hour. Just what we've been waiting for, strawberry jam. How's it being received? Um, yeah, well, finally, she's officially started the PR for the long-awaited brand, American Riviera Orchid, the most ridiculously named brand, um, which she launched last month. And we've seen a few friends of hers posting pictures of a branded jar of strawberry jam, which is, like you said, what the world needs. Um, when you go to the website, you have to sign up for a wait list, so it isn't available yet. But... Um, Obviously, it's received in, in the same way that, that everything that Megan launches is received. Um, a mixture of huge support from the pro Megan parade and then just absolute eye rolls from everybody else. Um, we knew that a lot of the stuff that was going to be associated with the lifestyle brand were food related as it goes with the theme of her upcoming Netflix show which is now in the early stages of production um, and it will focus on cooking and gardening. So we'll see what comes of that. It's definitely pretty different to her previous Netflix endeavours. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. If she's teasing a strawberry jam, you just wonder what's going to be next and if it's really working. <laughs> I'm surprised by the marketing strategy here. But look, if there's a wait list and there are people signing up, I am certainly not one of them. Let's talk about Prince William because he will undertake his first royal engagement since his wife's cancer diagnosis last month. On Friday, he'll be visiting Surrey and West London to highlight environment and youth organisations in the area. And, of course, the Prince of Wales has spent the past three and a half weeks with his wife, Princess Catherine, and their three children. I suppose this is welcome news to see that Prince William will be out and about and re-engaging in those royal duties. Yeah, it definitely will be. Um, he's visiting a food re redistribution charity on Thursday, and that's good. It tells the country that all is well. You don't have to worry about us after... Um, I can't believe it was only three and a half weeks ago. It feels like so much longer. It's been so, such a big catastrophic shift in the UK since um, Catherine mm. announced her cancer diagnosis. We haven't really had any updates or details about her health since. Um, I think it's safe to say that the announcement was more to keep the conspiracy theorists at bay than it was something that they actually wanted to share. I'm sure that they would have kept it more private if they could. But yeah, William's back and that's good. Um, seems as the royal family has been quite slim right now because of illnesses and other issues that have been going on. So um, I'm sure the rest of the family will welcome him back. Is there any indication as to when Princess Catherine will, will return to royal duties? I don't think so. I mean, I think that the kind of big dramatic video um, announcement was to say to people, look, I'm if I'm not seen right now, if I'm not um, in the public eye, this is why, because yeah. there was so much questioning and so much chaos when she was cancelling with engagements that I think that that was just to say, look, I'm going to announce when I'm ready. And we Let's haven't talk... heard when that will be yet. Yeah, and um, understandably so, of course, the world wants her to get better and that is the most important thing and we're happy to wait as long as we can until she's in full health and back out uh, with engaging in those public engagements. To talk about Prince Harry now, a London court has denied Prince Harry's request to appeal to a High Court ruling regarding his security in the UK. The Duke of Sussex argued that he and his family still need armed protection during visits to England. Previously, Prince Harry and other senior royals received publicly funded security, but he relinquished this support upon stepping back from royal duties and moving to California. This legal battle has persisted for four years, and despite the setback in the High Court, Harry is likely to directly petition the Court of Appeal for permission to challenge this decision. Cara, why isn't he backing down? Yeah, this has been a long, long process now um he's lost the appeal usually that would show people look this is kind of a waste of time not only did he lose the appeal but he was also ordered to pay 
90% of the home office's reasonable costs in defending the case. Uh, we don't know how much that is, but it's probably millions. Um, he basically argued that his safety is the problem of the British government while he's in Britain. And that just simply isn't the case anymore. People are sick of this. Um, but like everything Harry does, when he kind of makes a decision, he digs his feet in and, and stays firm. So, yeah, like you said, he this probably won't be his first appeal um, or, te- or attempt to to change the court's mind. But I think that this is a losing battle and he's probably just going to lose a lot of money in the process. Well, speaking of losing money, Prince Harry may be forced to settle court claims against the Sun because of impossible legal costs. The Duke of Sussex may face pressure to resolve his High Court claim against the Sun's publisher due to impossible legal costs. That's according to his barrister. Cara Kennedy, how is this going to turn out? Well, yeah, this was a this was a huge story today because actor Hugh Grant uh, settled his case against the same publisher that Harry is fighting um, due to the risk of a ten million pound legal bill if his case went to trial. This is bad for Harry because Hugh Grant has really spearheaded this movement against those particular journalists at those publications in that decade. Um, So that definitely doesn't look good for Harry. Over the past few years, um, different people have settled. All of them allege that they were targeted by journalists and private investigators, um, but different celebrities have settled basically for the same reason that Hugh Grant did today. So there was Sienna Miller, Paul Gascoigne, one of the Spice Girls. Um, So, yeah, it looks like Harry will be the next one to probably have to back down. But like we saw with the Home Office case, Harry doesn't back down. So it might be that Prince Harry is the one to take this all the way and to risk millions and millions of pounds in legal costs along the way. So we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Royal commentator Cara Kennedy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you.